guys, I'm just going to continue with the example, okay? Um, here I have 3 to the exponent of x minus 1 is equals to 1. I'm going to change that 1 to any base that I want. Remember, the basic rule is to make sure you have the same bases on both sides. So I will turn that 1 to 3 to the exponent of 0 and just equate the exponents. And once you do that, you can easily solve for x, okay? Um, here's another example here where I have 4 times 16 to the exponent of x is equals to 8. I will first start by dividing both sides by 4. I will be left with 16 to the exponent of x on the left hand side is equals to 2. Simplify that 16 to the simplest exponential form. Simply uh, prime factorize that it will be 2 to the exponent of 4 to the exponent of x. And multiply 4 with x, you will have 2 to the exponent of 4x is equals to 2. Please note that the 2 on the right hand side has a exponent of 1. So you will simply take that 4x and equate it to 1 instead solve for x, x is equals to a quarter, okay? We did most of the stuff, if you remember very well. Please go through them again. I will go through number 12 and 13, 14, as well as 15 with you. Simplify 8, 8 is uh, 2 cubed. Simplify 16, 16 is 2 to the exponent of 4. Multiply those, you will simply get 2 to the exponent of 3x plus 6 and 2 to the exponent of 8x minus 12. Bases are the same, drop them. Equate the exponent, you'll have 3x plus 6 is equals to 8x minus 12. 8 to one side, and x will simply be equal to 5x is equals to 18, divide this by 5, so x will be 18 divided by 5. Simplify the simplify, prime factorize 27, prime factorize 81. This is what you will get. You'll have 3 to the exponent of 3x minus 6 equals to 3 to the exponent of 8x plus 4. The bases are the same. Drop the bases and equate the exponents. You have 3x minus 6 is equal to 8x plus 4. 8x to one side, you'll have 8x minus 3x. On the left hand side, you'll have minus 6 minus 4, which is minus 10. And that will be minus 10 is equal to 5x. Divide both sides by 5. x will be equal to minus 2. Here you will simply change 0, 0,5. 0, 0,5 is the same as 1 over 2. That 1 over 2, write it in simplest exponential form. It will be 2 to the exponent of negative 1. That is still in brackets. I've changed nothing. And then you can start breaking the bracket. That will give me minus x plus 2, all right? The exponent of 2 on the right hand side. The bases are the same. Drop them and equate the exponents and take x to negative x to um, transpose it to the left hand side and transpose 1 to the right hand side. The signs will change. Remember, whenever they jump the equal sign, x plus x is 2x, so 2x is equal to 1. Divide that by 2, x will be equal to a half. Here, simply change 25. What is 25? Prime factorize 25, it will give you 5 squared. Now you can start dropping the bases, equating the exponents, and this is what you will be left with. Back to trinomials, guys. You will have to transpose 2 to the left-hand side, equate this to 0. 
now factorize that find the factors um, when you find the factors here you will have x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1 this is a very simple trinomial please revise your trinomials guys um, hence you'll have x plus 2 is equals to 0 or x minus 1 is equals to 0 and then you will simply solve for x x will be equals to minus 2 and x will be equal to 1 Please do this, guys, as your homework. It's from your ABC book. It's page 65, I think, of book A, if I'm not mistaken. Please do check. I'm not sure. Just look for exponents, all right? Um, and do exercise 3, which is on page 65. I'll just show you guys what the first question is all about. Oh, it seems like I don't have it, okay? Um, let's move right along, guys. Here we're simply solving for x, but please note that when we solve for x here, in between there's a plus, guys. Unlike what we've been doing in the previous example where there was multiplication, here there's a plus. I told you whenever there's a plus, guys, make sure you split the exponent. So I'll have 2 to the exponent of x times 2 to the exponent of 2. I hope you guys remember that, okay? When we simplified exponents, I did specify that whenever there's a Make sure that you uh, split the exponents by giving each exponent its own base, but they share one base, and that's two. You give x a base of two, and you'll simply give two a base of. I hope that makes sense, right? Once you have a split um, the exponents, you will look for a common factor. There was nothing you can do here. You take this 2 to the exponent of x to the other side because it's not a constant. It was going to be easier if it was a constant, but it's not a constant. It has a variable that we are trying to solve. I had no other choice but to split the first base, um, and then after splitting the first power, uh, I can now take out a common factor, which is what I want. Remember, the first rule in solving for a variable is to isolate that variable. I'm trying to isolate the base that has a variable that I'm trying to solve for. trying to solve for x. So I'm going to take that out as a common factor. In brackets, I'll be left with 2 squared plus 1. Note that if I take that 2x to the exponent, I mean 2 to the exponent of x out as a common factor, I'll be left with 1 then. I still have the plus in between. A lot of you guys end up getting rid of that plus. I don't know why you get rid of it. When you talk about a common factor, you're simply taking it out. Nothing changes, all right? Um, if I go out of this classroom, nothing changes. I still have the classroom. So I'll still have that plus. It's just that where there was 2 to the exponent of x, I no longer have it. Where it was 2 to the exponent of x, I'll only be left with 1. Even here, I'll be left with but the reason why I don't write that one is because I took 1 times 2 to the exponent of 2, which is still 2 to the exponent of 2. But that 2 to the exponent of x is out as a common factor. And then you can start adding these. When you add those, you will simply have 2 squared plus 1, which is 5. I'll still have 2 to the exponent of x outside. And that will give me 5, as I have specified. Now you can start applying what we have been doing. I don't want this 5 here. There's a multiplication. How do I get rid of it? Simple, guys. You simply divide both sides by that 5. You'll be left with the exponent of x is equals to 8. Write that 8 in simplest exponential form. It'll be 2 to the exponent of 3. And the bases are the same. Now drop the bases and equate the exponents. x is equals to 3. That's your solution. Let's do number two. This five has x. This five has x. That is just a constant. It has no x. So get rid of it. Simple. Once you have transposed it, I still have But I realize that this five has x, but I have plus one. But I don't want that plus one. So I'm going to try and I'm going to try and isolate splitting the exponents by giving x its base of 5 and minus 1 its base of 5. Here we'll give x its base of 5 and 1 
is of 5. Hence, I have 5 to the exponent of x times 5 to the exponent of minus 1, minus, minus still them, minus still them, 5 to the exponent of x times 5 to the exponent of 1. That is your common factor. Take it out. You will be left with 5 to the exponent of minus 1, minus 5 to the exponent of 1. These put it into a calculator. It will give you minus 24 over 5. I don't want this minus 24 over 5, so what am I going to do? I'll also put that into a calculator, but on the left-hand side, please note, it's gone. Put that into a calculator and check how much it gives you. You will simply get 5. Okay, you will simply get 5. But it has an exponent of 1. Therefore, x will simply be equal to 1 because you'll have to drop the basis. Classwork, please do this. And that Guys, please do up to here. Um, the other ones that I showed you, we will do them as a classwork later. For now, please do up to here, all right? Do everything up to here, okay? Have a great day. See you guys tomorrow.